under uniform acceleration angular acceleration alpha is constant quantity and uh, we put alpha is equal to d omega by d t. Let us assume that this rigid body has initial angular velocity in positive direction omega naught at time equal to 0 and after some time its angular velocity becomes omega in same direction at time t. Let us assume that angular axis of the rigid body remains constant both magnitude wise and direction wise. Since angular acceleration is equal to d omega by dt, by cross, cross multiplication we can get alpha dt is equal to d omega. This physically signifies that during a very small time interval dt, the change in angular velocity is equal to d omega. I am not using vectors because I have taken all these quantities angular velocity and angular acceleration in same direction that is positive z direction. Since alpha is a constant quantity you can put it out of the integral you integrate both sides put, keeping the alpha away or if you do not like it you keep it inside you integrate both sides now you can put it out keep it out pull it out of the integral because it is a constant quantity in this way put the layer limit initially means at time t equal to 0 the angular velocity is omega naught plus when the time will be equal to t after a time interval t the angular velocity of the object let it be omega. So, you can write alpha t is equal to omega minus omega naught. So, omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t and this is analogous to the formula v equal to v naught plus a t. Some students and authors they may prefer u instead of v naught so, do not get confused. We have another formula of alpha that is d omega by d theta into d theta by dt, but d theta by dt is equal to omega this itself is omega and you write it here. In this way another formula of alpha can be written as omega d omega by d theta. Cross multiply both sides we are getting alpha d theta is equal to omega d omega. Now, integrate both sides you integrated when you are integrating this alpha you have kept constant pull it out of the integral. So, next step you are getting alpha into the integration of d theta is equal to omega d omega integration of that. When the angular displacement we start from rest suppose or even though it was not at rest because we have taken initial angular velocity is omega naught. Let us assume that any straight line drawn inside the rigid body 
was lying along x axis. So, you can write the angular distances, the angular position is theta and this straight line rotates through an angle theta during time t. It was here at time t equal to 0. So, you can just write when angular velocity was omega naught, we start calculating theta with respect to x position or x direction of this straight line. The straight line was lying along the x direction, therefore, theta is 0. And when it is omega, angular velocity becomes omega, that straight line rotates through an angle theta. In this way, you can write alpha theta is equal to the integration of omega is omega square by 2 within this limit layer and upper limit. Next, you are getting omega square by 2 minus omega naught square by 2. And next step you are getting omega square is equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha into theta. This equation is equivalent to the equation v square equal u square plus 2 s in our linear kinematics, this is angular kinematics. Well, next we are going to derive another equation. We write at time t equal to 0, let theta is 0 as you have assumed. theta is 0 at time t equal to 0. At time t, let it cover an angle theta. The rigid body rotates through an angle theta. This means any straight line drawn inside the rigid body will rotate through an angle theta. Ideally, this this some sort of uh, disc or plate like structure. We know that omega after a time t can be written as omega naught plus alpha t. Furthermore, we know that angular velocity is defined as the rate at which the angular position is changing. Cross multiplying both sides, we can write omega dt is equal to d theta. Let us integrate both sides. At time t equal to 0, theta was 0. After time t describes an angle theta, rotates through an angle theta. So, it gives us omega dt integral 0 to t is equal to theta. This is equation number 2. And omega, you insert here from equation 1 in equation 2. Using equation 1 and 2, we obtain theta is equal to omega dt, where omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t integral dt, 0 to t. So, omega naught t plus alpha t square by 2. This the expression for the angular displacement. This is equivalent to the equation S equal to V naught t plus half a t square or V naught or u whatever is preferable you write. This is equivalent to this expression. In this set of uniformly accelerated motion, it may be a uniform acceleration linear or it may be uniform acceleration angular, this is angular, this is linear acceleration, this is angular acceleration. In both the cases, you are getting similar set of equations. Let me recap all these equations or 
recast all these equations in a table. When you tabulate the equations, we will get some idea. This is the linear, this is angular. S equal to U to plus half at square. Here theta is equal to omega t plus half alpha t square. If you want, may not also you can put instead of u. V equal to v not plus a t. Its analogous equation is omega is equal to omega not plus alpha t. Next, v square is equal to v not square plus 2s. Its analogous equation in angular motion. is omega square is equal to omega naught square plus to alpha into theta. For this uniformly accepted motion, uniformly accelerated motion, final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 is the average velocity. For angular case, for linear case, final velocity plus initial velocity by 2 is the average linear velocity. These are all vector quantities. We have taken all these quantities in same direction. Therefore, this formulae are the formulae without sign convention. I will tell you how to apply by using sign convention, proper sign convention I will tell you. How to prove? How to prove? Let us take a general case, say y is equal to kx. When you take y is equal to k x, when x is equal to 0, y is 0, it goes on increasing with respect to x linearly. At x equal to x1, y is y1. At x equal to x2, y is y2. The average value is always the average value is always the final plus initial by 2 when the equation is linear. So, y average is equal to y 2 plus y 1 by 2 during this interval. So, it will be somewhere here. This is a mathematical idea when the function is linear y varies with x linearly. Then y average is equal to y final plus y initial by 2. This is the idea behind this. Or we can prove in different way also. Let us uh, take an example. This disk has omega naught.
2 radian per second. Initially, and it has constant angular acceleration of 1 radian per second square. Radius of the disk is equal to say 1 meter. Find omega angular distance covered or angular displacement and average angular velocity. During second second at t equal to one at t equal to two angular velocity at t equal to one second. Angular displacement at t equal to 2 second and average angular velocity during the second second. Let us solve. To find the angular velocity, we have to use this formula omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha into t. Omega naught is in positive direction the plus plus 2 radian per second plus alpha is in positive direction plus 1 radian per second square into time is 1 second this will come around plus 2 plus 1 this come exactly 3 radian per second plus. So, finally, at the end of 1 second the disk will rotate with an angular velocity of 3 radian per second in anti clockwise manner or outward or anti clockwise or plus k cap direction. This is the solution of the first. Let us come to the second bit. Theta is equal to omega naught plus half alpha t square. Omega naught is equal to plus to t during 2 seconds t is 2 half alpha is plus 1 t is 2 2 into 2 4 plus 4 this 2 4 plus 2 6 radian positive so, net rotation is anti clockwise. Next, average angular velocity. To find the average angular velocity, we write the formula omega at time t equal to 0 plus omega time t equal to 2 second by 2, where omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. What is omega naught? It is 2 radian. What is alpha? Plus 1. What is t? After 2 second. 
So, 2 plus 2 4 radian plus per second. Therefore, the average angular velocity can be written as the sum of these two angular velocities with the vector, vector sum of vector addition omega naught is plus 2, omega is plus 4 by 2. So, 3 radian per second is plus. So, it is anti clockwise or positive. So, these are the basic problems we need to clear. It shows how to apply our kinematical formula. You may add another bit. Find omega after a rotation of theta is equal to 2 radian. To solve this problem, we need to write theta is equal to omega square minus omega naught square by 2 alpha or omega is equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha theta square root of this. What is omega naught? Plus 2 square of this plus 2. What is alpha? Plus 1. What is theta given? Plus 2. Plus two. So, it is 4 plus 4. Rotate to root 2 radian per second in anti clockwise direction. Let me twist this problem now. Take the disc of radius 1 meter, the initial spin omega naught is equal to 1 radian per second and it decelerates uniformly. Alpha is equal to 1 radian per second square. Find the time at which it will stop instantaneously. instantaneously. After what time it will stop instantaneously? Let us solve. Omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. When it stops instantaneously, omega will be equal to 0. Let us assume that after time t, it will stop instantaneously. What is omega naught? Plus 1, because omega naught is uh, pointing along positive z direction. Plus, what is alpha? Alpha is the retarding acceleration or retarding it causes retar retardation or we can say it is uh, caused by the retarding torque and torque concept I will tell you in the next section. So, alpha is in omega is out, alpha is in negative z direction, omega is in positive z direction if you take x axis towards right, y axis up. So, alpha will be equal to minus 1. 
So, T will be equal to 1 second. After 1 second, the disk will stop instantaneously. Then what will happen? Then find the angular velocity of the disk after further one second. When it stops, t is equal to 1, here t is equal to 0, here omega is equal to 0. From this, we start calculating time after 1 second. Let us assume that the omega will be anticlockwise, even though physically omega will be clockwise. We will see that. Use this formula omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Omega naught is the initial velocity. If you take this, this is initial velocity. If you take this diagram, take this instant, this is the initial velocity. But if you take this as the reference, here the time will be 2 seconds because after further 1 second from this. So, with respect to this, we will write t equal to 2 second or if you take this as initial, then omega naught is equal to 0 and the time interval will be 1 second. So, that is your choice. Suppose you take this as reference or initial and this is final. So, what is the time interval? 1 second. So, put it final omega we have taken positive direction omega naught will be 0 alpha minus 1 and t 1. So, we are getting minus 1 radian per second minus sign signifies that we have taken positive but we get negative answer. What does it mean then? This means that physically it will rotate in anticlockwise direction or minus k cap direction. In anticlockwise manner it will rotate or in positive in negative x y negative z direction omega will be directed or omega is in. Either you can just write omega is in or it is clockwise or it points along minus k cap direction this or this or this any one. If you want you can take this as a reference when you take this as a reference as initial then the time interval will be how much? From here to here 1, from here to here 1, 2 second. If your time interval is 2 second, then same formula you can apply omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Here what is omega naught? not 0 because you have taken this as a reference or initial and this is final. Here omega naught is plus 1 because it was rotating anticlockwise or out direction wise alpha minus 1 and t 2. Are you not getting same answer? When you take omega positive direction you are getting negative answer exactly same answer you are getting. So, negative answer signifies that the disk will rotate in which direction clockwise manner or omega vector points 
in or finds along negative z axis or minus k cap direction. Well, next question we can impose. What is the angular displacement during first two seconds calculated from this reference at time t equal to 0. From here to here, what is the average angular velocity? The average angular velocity, the average angular velocity find the average angular velocity during first second during first two seconds or over what is the average angular velocity over first second or over first two seconds omega is equal to omega naught plus omega by 2 that is equal to omega average. Omega naught is equal to plus 1. After first second you calculated omega is 0 because it will stop instantaneously after 1 second by 2 therefore, we will get average half radian per second anticlockwise manner or outward or positive k cap. You go for the second question. First two seconds, omega average is equal to omega naught plus omega. After two second, you are getting omega minus one. And your initial omega is plus one. It was moving anticlockwise at time t equal to zero. Initially, it was moving anticlockwise finally, it will be moving clockwise at the end of second second with same speed, but directions are different. Therefore, the average angular velocity will be 0 that is interesting. Next, we will discuss the angular distance and angular displacement using the same problem find angular displacement during first second and during second second and during first two seconds. basic questions. Our formula is theta is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square. During the first second, you put time equal to 1 second. So, theta is equal to omega naught is plus 1, t is 1 plus half into alpha is plus 1, t is 1 square of this 1 plus half this is equal to 3 by 2. 3 by 2 radian plus means Anticlockwise manner it rotates through an angle 3 by 2 radian. Well, during second second, same formula you use, use the same formula, and time here is two seconds if you use this as a reference, the initial. When this is the initial, omega naught will be equal to 
प्लस वन एंड टी विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस टू वी डू नॉट नाउ यू आर जस्ट डूइंग इट आई विल टेल यू इज करेक्ट और रॉन्ग प्रोसीजियोर हाफ अल्फा वट इज अल्फा माइनस वन योर यू हैव पुट प्लस वन वे मेड अ मिस्टेक इट शुड माइनस वन सो हाफ वन माइनस हाफ दैट्स हाफ इट्स नॉट थ्री बाई टू इट्स हाफ वेन अल्फा यू पुट माइनस वन टी यू पुट टू स्क्वायर ऑफ दैट यू आर गेटिंग टू प्लस माइनस टू इंटू टू फोर सो थीटा यू आर गेटिंग जीरो दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट थीटा यू आर गेटिंग जीरो डूरिंग द फर्स्ट सेकेंड इट रोटेट थ्रू एन एंगल हैप रेडियन इन अंडरक्लोकाइज मैनर यू हैव पुट t इक्वल टू टू एंड ओमेगा नॉट यू हैव यूज दिस डायग्राम एज द रेफरेंस यू स्टार्ट कल्वर्टिंग टाइम फ्रॉम दिस डायग्राम और दिस पोजिशन दे आर फोर दिस थेटा इज द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ड्यूरिंग फर्स्ट टू सेकेंड्स एट द एंड ऑफ टू सेकेंड वट इज द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट मेजर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस सपोज सपोज यू ड्रॉ any straight line a radial line suppose for the sake of simplicity and you take this is suppose initial angular position uh, suppose theta not during time one second it rotates through half radian suppose half radian from here to here it rotates and during second During second second, he rotates in such a way that this line comes to this position again. Then only you can say that this line comes to this position again. Then the angular displacement will be equal to zero. So one thing is very important to analyze. After one second, omega will be equal to zero. It will stop rotating. it may happen that after covering an angle or describing an angle or rotating an angle of half radian in anti clockwise manner it stops then it starts rotating in opposite sense it rotates in opposite sense means clockwise manner by describing exactly same amount of angle so when you add these two angles vectorially attacking the sense you may get zero therefore this is the answer of the third bit not the second bit if you want to solve for this you can use the same formula theta is equal to omega not t plus half alpha t square but here for the second second t equal to 0 t is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 this is at the end of first second at the end of second second so this becomes initial this become final at the end of first second at the end of second second so the time interval will be equal to 1 not 2 and omega not is the angular velocity at the end of first second this becomes initial this becomes final so omega not will be equal how much zero because at the end of first second the body comes to rest stops rotation t is equal to 1 plus half alpha what is alpha minus 
and te is one. So how much you are getting? Minus half. So during the second second or the last second, this rotates in clockwise manner. It was rotating anti-clockwise, covering plus half radian during first second. During second second, what it does? It rotates equal angle in opposite direction. As a whole, when you add this two, you are getting the angular displacements. The angular displacements, the angular displacement at the, at the end of second second will be equal to plus half plus minus half will be exactly equal to zero. When they will ask you, what is the angular distance covered? Next question. What is the angular distance during first two seconds then you can write any line drawn inside the rigid body suppose rotates through some angle suppose half radian in which sense in anti clockwise sense then this line at time t equal to 0, this is at time t equal to 1. Then this line again rotates in a reverse way and it comes back to its original position at time t equal to 2 second. Therefore, going half and coming half. So, angular distance will be equal to angular distance will be equal to plus half plus minus half more 1 radian. It is just like the displacement and the distance concept in linear motion. I am giving an analogous, analogous example. A, per, a person goes and comes back. Let us from the origin it goes. So, 10 meter distance in positive x direction and it comes back. So, the total displacement is equal to plus 10 i cap plus minus 10 i cap. This is S 1 and this is S 2. S 1 vector plus s2 vector is the net displacement whereas the distance d is equal to is going through 10 meter distance along positive x direction is coming through same distance along negative x direction so when you are calculating the distance you will take the mod or the magnitude or the modulus of the displacements then i cap mod plus minus 10 i cap mod you are getting 20 meter. The angular distance can never be 0, the scalar quantity. Similarly, the linear distance can never be 0, it is scalar quantity. This is analogous to angular distance is analogous to linear distance, angular displacement is analogous to linear displacement. So, theta in the angular kinematical equation must be the angular displacement not the angular distance. S who is the linear displacement analogous to angular displacement represents the linear kinematical equations like S equal to u t plus half at square. It can be positive, it can be negative, it can also be 0. Theta can be positive when it rotates in anticlockwise manner, it can be negative when it rotates in clockwise manner, it can also be 0 when 
the net displacement the angular displacement will be zero as we discussed in the last bit of the foregoing example so in this way through this example you can understand the utility or the use of uh, the kinematical equations under uniformly accelerated motion.